Metroid Dread is only a few days away from releasing, and Nintendo sure did celebrate the game's release in a really goofy way. So I'm actually looking forward to Metroid Dread. It's been a long time since we've gotten a new original Metroid 2D platformer. And this is, of course, being released to kind of appease people while they wait for the latest Metroid Prime release, which I would imagine is still a few years away. Looking forward to this game. Reviews are positive, and it looks like fun. I'm sure it'll be a great game. I like the little dread guy that chases you around. They're obviously adding like a nemesis kind of thing, like a Mr. X from Resident Evil, where a guy chases you around. You can't really do anything about it. It'll be interesting to see how that works in a Metroid game, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Also, on top of this game coming out, I think today they're going to release the final Smash Brothers fighter. So you have two kind of big things coming. And Nintendo, being Nintendo, decided to have some fun. Well, let me be more specific. Nintendo France decided to have some fun with this. And they put this tweet out. You, as you can see, Solid Snake is following behind Zero Suit Samus. <laughs> and they made it even funnier by adding eyes. Like, oh. Because, I mean, who wouldn't want to look at that if they were behind her, right? You know, I'm sure it looks very, very nice. And surprisingly, there's like no meltdowns about this. I'm kind of shocked. So failed, failed to load tweet. They deleted it. Now, from what I understand, this tweet was up for two hours. About two hours, this tweet was up, hanging around, and people were mostly making memes. I don't know if it was if it wasn't up long enough for the Puritans to get to it or what. Usually they're immediately on this stuff. So I'm a little shocked and surprised. And I'm even more shocked and surprised that Kotaku doesn't say anything. Because, you know, if it just been if it just been Solid Snake and someone was looking at his butt, they would praise that. But because he's looking at uh Zero Suit Samus's butt, uh, there's nothing going on. They just call it a horny tweet, which is rather shocking. You know, this is perfect bait for Kotaku. I'm really shocked that they didn't go after it because uh, you're not allowed to have heterosexual stuff in video games, comics, movies, television series, especially when it comes to fun video game characters or superheroes or something like that. Uh, everyone's got to swing towards their own gender. Or it's just not allowed. It's just not allowed. So the fact that they're not melting down and going crazy because a man is looking at an attractive female's butt really kind of put me in a shocker. And nothing in they're not mad about it at all. I was really blown away by that. These people get mad about little like long legs. It's very, very weird. They even talk about hentai in this article. <laughs> they should have left this tweet up, but you know. Nintendo's very conservative company. This is obviously Nintendo France. So maybe they were having a little bit too much wine. I don't know. It was a funny tweet that really brought attention to two games, Smash Brothers and Metroid Dread. So I'm a little shocked that, you know, they should have just left it up. Be damned the outrage. But that's why they deleted it, right? We we don't understand that. They deleted it because they thought it would get outrage. They don't want that. And it's sad that they can't throw a funny tweet like this up and just let it exist. A couple other outlets commenting on it. Nintendo France tweets and deletes picture of Snake staring at Sam uh, Samus's behind. And then the real reason Nintendo's bizarre Metroid tweet was removed. This one's got a whole conspiracy theory. Like they got it from like Infowars or something. <laughs> They're putting like people in the offices and stuff, and like you have no idea what was going on there. So I just, I just, it's a pretty funny little story. Uh, but the big thing was nobody's mad that he's looking at her butt. 
Now, I don't know if they were in the tweet or not. The tweet got deleted. I really wish I could see replies to that tweet. I, I can't. That would have been pretty funny shit because you know somebody in there was whining about it. I'm just surprised Kotaku isn't. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. Usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.